is good afternoon. Good morning guys, I'm Ree, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, hit the subscribe button because you're gonna wanna stick around. If you're returning, hey besties, it's so good to see you again. You guys are gonna have to forgive my appearance right now. I literally just woke up. I just did my skincare and my dental care. But today is day two of parent-teacher conferences and I thought that I would wake up early and like show you everything that I do today. I did go to the gym this morning, but I didn't film that because it has really nothing to do with conferences, but I'm getting ready to get ready now. So I'm gonna start off by getting my makeup done, pick out an outfit to wear, make some coffee, my smoothie, head out the door, I'm just gonna show you about my day. I still do have to teach on parent-teacher conference days, so the kids have a short and condensed schedule today, but you won't see them. But I'll show you around like the behind the scenes, all the prep work that goes into parent-teacher conferences and what that looks like realistically. And then, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing how that goes, stay tuned. So as we already know, my day starts pretty early. I've been up since 3.45 a.m. and I need some extra coverage under my eyes. So today's glam is gonna be more of a full beat, full coverage because I look tired so I will link everything down below in the description box if you guys are interested in the makeup products that I'm using as well as my specific shades I will post those down below in the description box but we're keeping it really simple today I just want to make sure that I have a very solid base foundation that way I can really cover up everything so I can look less tired I'm really going for more of a brighter under eye look because I just feel like the bags under my eyes are just not giving it's giving exhaustion and I don't want to give that to the parents I don't want to scare the parents away so uh, this is what I'm just basically going going to be doing so just enjoy Ryan Little. <laughs> And now we're putting on the final touches to the fit. My outfit is from Fashion Nova. It will be linked down below. I'm going in with some extra moisturizer to make sure that I'm not giving crusty during these conferences. Following up with my Coach Perfume and the fragrance Coach New York. And I absolutely love it because it's like initially this bright florally scent, but then it dries down to the suede musk. Following up with some gold jewelry and getting all the knots out of my hair. And now we're out the door. Okay guys, so I'm finally at work and um, I was rushing this morning, which is why you didn't see me getting ready, but I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in a little bit. I just got to my classroom and I've got about 45 minutes before the kids get here. My desks are already sanitized because I sanitized yesterday because this is day two of parent teacher conferences. So I decided that I'm not gonna sanitize the desks again because nobody has sat in them. I got a new smoothie, you guys, and I'm so excited. Like I just wanna blend everything in it because my old blender was trash, absolute garbage. It started steaming the other day, like started smoking. And I was like, yeah, I gotta go. So I ordered this one on Amazon. I'll link it down below and I'll be featuring it in a ton of what I eat in a day videos as well as meal prep videos. So if you're interested, get you one cause girl, this is fire. So right now, like I just said, I just got to school. So I'm just going to check my emails, make some copies. And then I'm also going to print out another sign in sheet for my parents who are coming for parent conferences today. And then I'm just gonna send some emails to the parents I haven't heard from because that happens a lot too. So yeah, so I'll just let you see a little bit of that and then I'll talk to you soon. So 
for those of you who know, you know. But if you don't, teaching requires a lot of multitasking. As I stated before, I do have to teach on conference day. So once I've delivered instruction, I began grading and inputting my grades into our school's logging system. I'm primarily focusing on the most recent work so that I can showcase it later on today at conferences, just so that guardians can see how their scholar is doing. On conference days, they're really not that exciting if you don't have that many guardians to see. Most of my time is spent grading and catching up on other professional responsibilities, but it's all about just keeping yourself a little bit busy because you could just get a little stir crazy just sitting in your classroom seeing all the parents and guardians walk by. But here I am just catching up on some work, getting caught up on some grading, and then chilling out. So it is later, I finished my last class of the day. So now I have some downtime. I have the kids are at lunch and then I have my prep period since we're working on a little bit of a short and condensed schedule due to conferences. So I have some time to grade some stuff, clean up my classroom. I do have to sanitize the desks because the kids have now sat in them. So I think I'm gonna sanitize those things first. I think I left my flats in the car. Now I have heels on and my feet hurt. So I need to like maybe just take them off, but these floors are gross. So <laughs> I guess I'll have to keep them on, but I'm gonna sanitize all of my desks. Basically when I sanitize the desks, I wipe them all down with Clorox wipes. I wipe down the chairs and then I also spray down the chairs and the tops of the desk, like the surfaces with Lysol spray. So I'm gonna do that. It doesn't take that long. And then I think I'm gonna get back to grading, sending some more emails and contacting more parents. Because if you're a teacher, you know that sometimes I feel like I've sent emails and text after text, call after call. And I still have parents that aren't answering and I don't take it to heart. I don't like the people that I don't get to see. I recognize that they're probably busy. It's not that they don't care. It's just that they're busy. They're working, they're taking care of other responsibilities. So I get it. But I just do my best to encourage them to meet with the teachers as much as possible because I feel like sometimes parents don't like to come to conferences because they're afraid of like all of the negative things that teachers have to say. But I really like to focus on the positive things as a teacher. Even before conferences, like throughout the year, I always send texts home or like emails home, letting them know the positive things that their kids are doing. I like to focus more on the positives than the negatives. I mean, you still have to address the negative behaviors and the misbehaviors and all those things, but I love highlighting the positive things and I love positively narrating in my classroom too. My students didn't get it at first, but I show them the importance. I'm like, listen, you're always so used to, you know, your teacher's yelling at you for doing the wrong thing, but what happens when we highlight the good things and you start to feel better and then everybody else sees that you're getting that recognition for doing the right thing and now they're doing the right thing. They think it's cool to do the right thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into that and then I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. to start they're gonna start in one minute um, but one thing that I really like to do before uh, the parents get here is Good afternoon. Anyway, so one thing that I like to do is I like to go through the list of parents that have already signed up for conferences. And I like to put together a little folder, not like a folder folder, but like a couple of assignments of the word just to highlight and showcase what their child has been doing over the last couple of weeks. So I have quite a few piles here. I think I have eight parents signed up today. However, I only was uh, responsible for signing up my homeroom kids' parents, but I know that my triad has other parents of students that I teach that are coming in. So hopefully they stop in to see me. So I have kind of cross reference with them who they plan on seeing today and then put together little piles of work for them too. So that's what I'm getting ready to do right now. I always get a little nervous because my kids always think that the teachers are out to get them, like that they're going to, you know, tell them how they're just so awful and all these things. And I always tell my students, like, I can only report your behavior and you're responsible for your behavior. So sometimes the parents bring the kids in and then it gets a little uncomfortable because, you know, they don't want you to tell. But I think it's important that we do give their parents the most accurate report. That way they can kind of encourage them to be on the best 
best behavior so I can kind of combat some of that, the misconduct, misbehavior within the classroom. So hopefully today the parents that I need to see come because you all know we have those students who the parents we need to see and we don't always see. But if they don't come, they'll still get a report from me regardless. It'll be very in detail. I'll scan some documents, letting them see the quality of work that their child is producing and then list off any of the misbehaviors and concerns that I have for them. So regardless if I see them today or not, they will still hear from me. But yeah, so wish me luck because we're starting now. Hi, how are you? I'm 310. Yeah. So far, I've had four conferences, all very positive, all very good. But now it's time for a quick lunch break because I am starving. Oh my gosh. Like I was literally getting hangry in my last one. So I ordered honey girl. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but um, I'll link their stuff down below. It has like um, a noodle bar, a honey bar, and like you can create your own salad. So I'm having a create your own salad with kale, shrimp, quinoa, a bunch of veggies, some avocado. I think I got some blue cheese on here too. Oh, and croutons because those are my new favorite things. But yeah, I'm just enjoying my salad and waiting on my next parent to come so stay tuned i've had two more conferences and now i'm just waiting for my next conference i am hosting conferences on zoom for the parents that cannot make it into the building because this is basically the first time that we've opened up the school building to have parent teacher conferences all year they've been virtual so now we're giving the parents the opportunity to come into the building hold on i gotta close my window Anyway, yeah, so this is the first time that the parents are gonna be in the building in almost two years for parent-teacher conferences, so I wasn't expecting the turnout to be that great, but I am hosting Zoom conferences as well as hosting phone conferences as well, so. Wow. Oh my gosh, guys. I just finished my last parent-teacher conference and overall, this was a really successful conference day. I talked to so many parents, got to meet so many parents and just see how the kids interact with their parents when they come to conferences. This was such a good experience. Um, I'm all smiles because I feel so accomplished. This is my first like real set of parent-teacher conferences in person. Last year, we did like semi-in-person conferences because we were hybrid, but this is the first time that I did two full days of conferences and I've learned so much. I got to meet a lot of wonderful people. I got to meet the siblings of my students and I just got to bond with like the parents, which was so cool. I had so much fun, but I am tired. Also, my feet hurt in these shoes and I don't know how I'm gonna walk to my car, but we are gonna make it work. But yeah, this was basically my entire day. It started, well, I mean, my actual day started at 3.45, but parent teacher conferences, it is not for the week. There's so much work that goes into it. I had like a couple parents call at the last minute. Conferences were over at four and people called in at four and after four, so I had to meet with them. So now it's like, sorry, the screw out of my watch came out, so I have to fix that when I go home. But now it's like, oh, my watch is dead now too, but that for me, it's like 4.45 last time I checked. So I'm over the time, but I had such a good time. If you're a teacher and you had really good conference experiences, please share down below and things that, tell me things that you do um, to prepare for conferences so that I can do things maybe a little bit differently. Next year, I felt like I kind of, not that it was chaotic, but like I felt like I was less organized than I wanted to be. Um, I underestimated like, you know, when parents come in, like having all of my stuff set up like and easily accessible. But yeah, definitely drop some gems in the comments if you guys have any suggestions. Definitely let me know if you wanna see more teacher content in the future. I'm I'm going on spring break next week so like it'll wait a couple of weeks but i'll definitely do more teacher content if you guys want to see it but with that being said i'm just going to pack up my things clear off my desk and then basically just leave and go home because i was going to go to the gym a second time today but i don't feel like it i'm tired i'm exhausted so i think i'm gonna end off here thank you guys so much for sticking around for my little day in the life of a teacher during parent teacher conferences please be sure to like comment subscribe and share also turn on your post notifications that way you can be notified every time I drop a new video and until next time babe I'll see you on my next